Welcome back to a brand new Sketchup for Schools tutorial. In this one, we are using the updated version of Sketchup for Schools, which does include the outliner panel. Um, there may be some other updates that come about throughout this project, um, but we will be using the outliner panel as we go through here and create our plan set one from the Harley blueprint series um, that's bought from Pitsco. So in this first episode we are going to create the plot for our actual project. And so to start off with I'm going to move our little guy over here to the left just so it's out of the way. Um, I do want to keep it there just because without it, we don't have a sense of how big anything is. Um, so it helps me keep everything in order. I'm first going to go in here and create just a big square. I want to make sure that I'm looking down here in the measurements and I want to make sure that it's around 100 by 100. So somewhere in that range. Nothing exact as long as it is above 70 feet. I'm then going to take my tape measure. I'm going to use this line as my left side. So from there going over to the right we're going to type in 55 feet. This is my bottom line. So we need to create two different measurements here. One is going to be 70 feet. The next one is going to be 61 feet. We're then going to take the line tool and draw a line from the top one down to the bottom intersection and then close out our line. We're then going to erase all the extra pieces and our guides. So that's the overall size of this. So let's go in here and we're going to bring in our dimensions and let's go ahead and create a dimensions for each of our sides just so we can make sure that our measurements is what it should be. The next we're going to start laying everything out. So again we're going to use our tape measure. Our potting shed is just like it should be in code. Um, everything has to be five feet from the exterior. So we're going to go five feet from the edge of the plot, five feet from the top going diagonally. Our potting shed overall is 12 feet wide. So it's going to take our line tool. I'm going to draw a line from the intersection over to the right, make sure that it is red. Take your tape measure, go from that straight line down 13 feet. So 13 apostrophe. And then we can come in here and draw in our rectangle. I then want to click on that rectangle, hit the delete key in order to delete that face. Next, we're going to try to quickly draw in the house. So a lot of these measurements for the house, we don't really know, uh, like the driveway, sidewalk, all that stuff. We're going to kind of educational guess um, and use what we have. So for the left side of the house, it's five feet. From the right side, it is 10 feet. And from the front, it is 20 feet. We do have one measurement for the back, and that is it is 16 feet 
the, p the point ends at the 16 foot mark. We just don't know exactly where that is. So that's, that's one of the major measurements that we don't have. But what we can do is we're going to go over to the right and and I'm going to go 17 feet from that left side. We're going to take our line from that intersection over to the right. We're going to make a rectangle. We're then going to go from the front here back to the back and type in 18 feet and create that rectangle. Next, we're going to create a two foot mark there. And 10 feet from there. Then let's go ahead and create this little patio. Let's clean up our guides. So this is a house foundation, this is a little porch patio, um, and then we have a little garage over here. So we're going to go create a one foot guide here, going to create a nine foot guide there, and create a rectangle for the driveway. last thing we're going to do is we're going to take and go with that measurement. We're going to go over three feet. And go two feet from inside. We're then going to draw in a rectangle in order to start working on our front door. For the front porch, we're just going to make this one foot wider on each side. And three feet. So this is our front porch. If you ever click something by mistake, you can hit escape in order to undo it. I'm going to delete these lines, delete that one. We just have a little walkway that we're going to do. So let's go two feet and then we'll create another three foot walkway. Create little guides there and let's go ahead and draw in this walkway. So now that we have that, we're going to take our push pull tool. I'm going to take on underneath. I'm going to pull it down six feet. Okay, that brought down the, the top. So hit the control key in order to bring up the plus and we're gonna bring the ground back up. So that should look like that. We're then going to bring up the foundation six inches, six inches. We're going to bring the porch patio up six inches. 
bring this one up six inches and then the walkway we're gonna bring up two inches and the driveway we're gonna bring up two inches underneath I'm going to just have all this align so hit control to bring up the plus on again bring down the face for all of these so make sure that you're that you see the plus sign now I do need to right click and reverse these faces At this point, let's go in to our materials. We're going to do landscaping, click on the grass, and we're gonna place our grass in the location. Let's go to asphalt and concrete. We're going to click on this polished new concrete go ahead and place it on the foundation and the walkway And we can go ahead and place some concrete there too. The only thing left that I want to do is I want to come through here and try to paint this more of a ground color. So if we go to colors, try to find a brown. And we paint that all the way around. Last thing we want to do is take your dimensions as this is our important part of this foundation as we will be coming in here and creating everything else into that potting shed place. So our next video will be our foundation and then we'll go in there and build all the walls. Finally, triple click on your project, right click, make this a group, click on your outliner panel, double click on the group or right click, go to rename and this is going to be the plot. So that's going to be our plot. Make sure you save your project as your first initials, plan set one, plot. Make sure that you have your outliner panel open so that way we can see the plot group. And that is it. Um, stay tuned for our next video where we go in there and create our foundation. It's a really simple foundation in this new series.